looking to go off grid in Hawaii? Well, this video is going to cover Upper Puna from Volcano down to Hawaiian Acres. And I'm going to give you all the insights of all the subdivisions in between. But I got to start off this video with a little disclaimer so that you're aware of what's really going on here in Hawaii. The Hawaiian Islands were um, overthrown in 1893 by a bunch of American missionary businessmen. And they overthrew the Hawaiian kingdom. And a lot of people believe that that was wrong and it should be corrected. And uh, with that in the history, there's also current um, housing crisis here in Hawaii where a lot of the local people are unable to afford the places where their families have been living for generations. We have the fire in Lahaina, we have the volcano, and that's putting a lot of pressure here on the big island where families are moving here to escape the pressures of the high prices on the other islands. And so if you're thinking about moving to Hawaii from another state or another country, I just want you to consider what I just told you because uh, this is uh, kind of strong in the mentality of the people. A lot of people may not be looking too fondly on newcomers because uh, there's a lot of pressure on the, by the newcomers raising the prices here. So if you're thinking about off-grid living and homesteading, there's a lot of places in America where you can do it with great climates and in the world. And Hawaii is one of the most expensive states in the, in the whole country. And in fact, it might be one of the most expensive places in the world. And I know that growing food here in the tropics and living in the tropics sounds really ideal, but is Hawaii the place to do it? I just want to bring that question up before we start the video today. I just want to be sure that you make the right choice because it's not the right choice for everybody. A lot of people who aren't from Hawaii move here and end up leaving after two years because it's not quite the right fit for them. And they waste and spend thousands of dollars and a lot of time to figure out that it just didn't work. So it's best that I bring this all up at the beginning. So with all that said, we're gonna drive up to Volcano Village and work our way back down to Hilo. All right, let's go. Here I am in Volcano Village, and I have to say, folks, this is one of the nicest subdivisions I have been in here in East Hawaii. All the homes are beautiful. The neighborhood is peaceful and quiet. The plants are lovely. The weather is nice and cool. It even is a little more sunnier than slightly down below here on the peak of the Kilauea Mauna. Um, and here right across the street from the volcano, which is a little bit nerve wracking. When the big eruption hit in 2018, people around here got quite the show, but they were safe. And uh, Volcano Village has been safe for hundreds of years and it's been a safe place to be. If you're into home setting, this would be a great place to be. Once again, they've got power. Uh, this uh, village here is backed up to a land trust that has thousands of acres of open space. Uh, there's lots of hiking around and if you like growing cool season crops this is the best place to do it where it's a little less rainy than down below and you can grow all sorts of temperate species fruit trees and a lot of those great vegetables that just like cooler weather too like lettuce broccoli kale chard all those wonderful things that we can't grow down below so if you're into this type of weather have a little more money in your budget to afford living in volcano village this would be a great place to be. But for now, we're gonna head on out and check out another place. Now I'm here in the Royal Hawaiian Estates. And I gotta say, this is a pretty nice subdivision. I'm pretty impressed. All the roads are paved. The homes are a nice mix of um, beautiful permitted homes as well as some you, you could tell they're unpermitted but they're nice they're nice unpermitted homes and I've seen people walking around in the neighborhood walking their dogs decorating for Halloween the weather is nice and cool up here and you're really close to Volcano National Park 
and to Volcano Town. It's about five minute drive away where you have parks and amenities and gas stations and hiking and all sorts of cool stuff. So for um, living in a place that's, uh, and this subdivision is pretty affordable. Um, the, the lots start at $40,000 and they're about a half an acre um, in size. And uh, you know, it just has a nice feel here for uh, subdivision. And I've always kind of liked the volcano area. It's kind of more tame in a way. It just has this kind of peaceful feeling up here. So yeah, Royal Hawaiian Estates. It might be a place that you might want to think about starting your off-grid homestead at. Oh, and did I mention if you want, they got power. So power lines are already installed. So if you don't want to go totally off-grid, you have that option too. You will need to install a water tank, but you do get power. All right, let's head off to the next place. All right, now we're a little bit further down the mountain heading towards Hilo and we're in Fern Forest. A lot of people have been hitting me up wondering about this location here, this subdivision, Fern Forest. And I gotta say, um, I used to not be a fan of Fern Forest, but nowadays it's growing on me. I met a lot of cool people through Homestead in Hawaii that are setting up little homesteads here in Fern Forest. They've got a little community of growers going on, and uh, there's a lot of off-grid homesteads in this area. Now it's a little more difficult to grow around here because uh, you'd see that it's gray and cloudy quite often and pretty rainy and cool here. So you're kind of like in this middle zone between the tropics and the temperate um, climate where you can only grow a certain amount of plants here in this zone. But when you find the right spot, you actually can grow a decent amount. So it's a good place to be. The weather is cool, but you really got to like rain because when it gets into the wet season, it's gray and cloudy all the time here when it could be rainy down by the beach. A lot of the roads are nice and paved. The crime here in this area is not known to be too bad. The lots are about two acres and um, overall it's just nice. What can I say? Burn Forest, if you want to set up a homestead, you know, like I said in the earlier video, uh, it's all road by road, case by case. You'd want to make sure that you know your neighbors, but I think you might be able to score in a spot like Fern Forest. Here we are in the notorious Eden Rock. Eden Rock has a reputation out here in Hawaii for being a place of rippers, crime, drugs, you name it. This is not a, really a place that you want to make home if you're thinking about moving out here to Hawaii, unless you want to be worried about your stuff being taken all the time. Now, sure, there might be a road or two in this area where it might feel pretty safe and you have great neighbors, but uh, with a reputation like Eden Rock has, I'd stay clear. The lots might be priced right, but are you sure that you want to deal with that every day of your life? Always looking over your shoulder, wondering if something might get taken. And plus, the dogs in this area, I've noticed that there's been some uh, dogs roaming about. And quite frankly, I wouldn't feel very safe walking around in this neighborhood. So um, unless, this is, uh, un unless this is all you can afford, maybe think about checking out Fern Forest or even um, Fern Acres might be a good spot for you, which we're gonna go check out in just a moment. But uh, just so you know, Eden Rock, uh, it could be a great place to um, grow food, but just like a Fern Forest, it's wet. It could be miserable here. And I think that breeds into the mentality of the people around here. They just seem a little depressed. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's go head out uh, to Kapua Farm Lots, which is just uh, right next door. 
and see what that's all about. As you can see, almost everywhere around here looks the same. The scrubby ohia trees with a luhe fern and, um, you know, it's the native plants um, of the area, but it's just what grows everywhere. So when we're in all these subdivisions from Fern Forest down to um, Hawaiian Acres, they're pretty much all going to be looking the same. But here at Kapula Farmlands, it has a vibe here. The lots are 20 acres, and it just kind of feels desolate. I don't know. I feel a little bit lonely up here. But if you like space and you like to be alone, then a 20-acre lot in Kapua Farm Lots could be the spot. They're not very expensive. You could do a lot with 20 acres. And I pretty much can guarantee you, no one's going to get into your business around here. This is like no man's land. It just feels lonely, empty. And if you want to create a commune or just have a place where you never see anybody ever again, Kapua Farm Lots could be the spot for you. It's a little bit lower than the other spots. You can grow some persimmons and apples, some citrus, and maybe avocados. Um, but you won't be getting any coconuts. You might be pushing it with bananas. But it could be a great place to raise animals, raise a family, or just to be alone. Blue apartments. Let's head on down to Fern Acres. On my way down to Fern Acres, I saw this little subdivision across the highway on uh, the Mauna Kea side of the highway called um, Aloha Estates. And I always wanted to check it out, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's turn down that road. Um, a long time ago, when I moved out here to the island, I thought Aloha Estates was going to be kind of ghetto. The lots were like 1500 bucks for like a half an acre. And I thought, mm, I don't know. I don't really like the vibe of this uh upper air, upper Puna area anyways, like why would I want to go to Aloha Estates? But checking it out today, I think I was wrong. It's actually kind of nice in here. A lot of the homes are nice. The subdivision seems pretty well kept. And um, people seem to have a, a good little neighborhood feel in this area. So I don't know, it might be worth uh, checking out. I don't see too many people homesteading, but there shouldn't be any reason why you wouldn't be able to set up a little homestead here, unless they have a HOA, which I'm not too sure about, but lots here are about $40,000. It's still possible to find an affordable piece of paradise here in Hawaii. People of Hawaii who live here in Hawaii and are looking for land, this could be a good place for you. All right, we're at our last stop. It's Fern Acres. Here the lots are about one acre. We're between Eden Rock and Hawaiian Acres, and um, it's still pretty affordable here. You're close to Hilo, about uh, 10, 15 miles, I think, uh, to Hilo Town from here. Probably takes about 20 minutes. You're also close to some uh, stores. Uh, there's the Jay Hara store, where it's sort of your local general store where you can get a lot of stuff. And there's a post office and whatnot. But Fern Acres is, um, you know, an affordable place to live. Here in Upper Puna, it's uh, not as big of a lot as Hawaiian Acres, and it's not as big as Fern Forest, so don't get it confused with Fern Forest. But Fern Acres has these nice, quaint size one acre lots and beautiful homes, and mixed in with some uh, off grid homes. And uh, so, if you're looking for a little bit of the uh, more affordable, smaller size lot off grid living, Fern Acres could be the spot for you. They have power here. Uh, but you're going to have to catch your own rainwater. You can raise animals, um, and you could grow a pretty good variety of food. We're a little lower down. It's raining a little less here, not as less, not as little as down by the coast, and not as much as up in uh, Fern um, Forest. It's you still got a little bit of a sweet spot where you can grow a little bit more of the tropicals, and maybe push the envelope with some of those cold subtropicals. So if you're looking for a place to settle down and start your homestead and grow food and, and live off the land in Hawaii again and to uh, build uh, sovereignty here, then um, Fern Acres might be one of the spots for you. And so that wraps it up, everybody. This is the last spot 
on our list, we went through Volcano Village, Royal Hawaiian Estates, Fern Forest, Eden Rock, Kapua Farmhouse, Aloha Estates, and Fern Acres. And in the previous video, I did Lower Puna from Seaview up to Hawaiian Acres. If you want to catch all that, you can go catch that other video right here. But in the meantime, I hope you got a good grasp on what it's like to live up in the Puna, what it's like to go off grid up here. And to also remind you to consider if this is really the right choice for you. If you're from Hawaii, looking for a place to live in Hawaii, this could be the great place to be. If you like cooler weather and wet weather, and you want things to be a little more affordable. But if you're not from Hawaii, think twice because life is different out here. I know this is happening all across the country. People are getting pushed out because of the high cost of living. And Hawaii may be a little bit lower cost of living when it comes to land prices here, especially on the Big Island, than where you're coming from. But be careful um, and mindful coming out here and driving up land prices because the people, the local people here are hurting. And we just want to make sure that if you do move out here, that you come out here with uh, respect, humility, be pono, and do what's right, okay? So, thanks for watching, everybody. This video I didn't really want to make. I just want to tell you, I didn't really want to make this video, but I've been asked to make this video countless times by many, many people, what it's like to go off grid here in Apatuna. So, I thought I'd um, put together this video for you guys today, and uh, so you can see what it is, what these, what this area is like, so that you can stop asking me all those damn questions, all right? Now it's on you. You know what it's like. You watch the video. Come out here for yourself and see what it's like in person. All right. Aloha. Take care, everybody.